hello dear in this video we are going to discuss about lex so lex is a tool or a programming language uh, used for lexical analyzer to generate this lexical analyzer we are going to use a tool called lex okay and here the input the lex program is all about uh, the rules right all the patterns that you have right for uh, for each and every programming language to identify some tokens we have a set of patterns and that is represented in terms of your regular expression so those regular expressions or the input okay so the code written here or uh, contains all those regular expression and usually it has an extension as lex dot l okay dot l is the representation for lexical program and uh, for like whatever is the program whatever might be the program it need to be compiled even the lexical program need to be compiled right so we are going to pass this to uh, lex compiler and lex compiler inbuilt it is going to use an c compiler for execution okay so it uh, it usually generates a file of the structure lex yy.c this is the extension that the usual like uh, usual lexical output will be so a lex program it contains set of all the rules or the patterns uh, written in the lexical language it is uh, it is fed to the lexical compiler and this compiler will convert this dot l code to a dot c extension c program now this is fed into this lex yy dot c is fed into your normal c compiler for converting it to an object file okay so that is what an c compiler will do right after compilation it will create an object file and how will you run your object file while executing your object file this a dot out is executed and the input here is your source program and what is the output output will be set of tokens so this is how the execution of a well, lex compiler will be like the code whatever is the rules or the patterns that is represented in terms of regular expression is written in the lex language it is fed into lex compiler this lex compiler will convert the code into a c program okay this is fed into a normal c compiler what a compiler c compiler will do after compilation it checks for error and finally it will return the object file okay once the object file is found you are going to execute the object file while execution the input this is your in lexical analyzer whatever is the lexical analyzer right that is there while executing this uh, object file the input is a source code for any programming language and the output will be the set of tokens the corresponding tokens for the source code okay so this is how a lex will work this is how a lex will get compiled off and work okay now we'll see how a what will be the structure of your lex code this is the structure of a lexical program so you have all the declaration so declaration portion contains all um, all the rules okay all the translation rules are given in the declaration part and transition rules is like whenever a token is found what might be the reaction for it so those translation rules should be given and the auxiliary function auxiliary function is what all the extra function i'll give you an example here so this is the general structure all the declarations separated by translation rules separated by your auxiliary function okay so this is a separator this double percentage is used as a separator now each and every rule have this structure you will have a pattern followed by action okay so all the translation rule for all the set of patterns what is the action so this is how it is represented the translation rules are represented in the structure okay so now coming to the declaration portion i'll give you an example here like we'll take uh, identifier okay so the basic of identifier is identifier is made up of letter and digit so first we have to define what is a letter okay so whenever it is a letter letter contains a small a or b till z capital a or b till z okay so this is all letters and it may have digits too so for digit you can write it as 0 or 1 till 9 okay so all those things comes under digit 
and how will you write the rule for an identifier for id it should start with the letter followed by letter you can give letter or digit the whole star so this is how you represent your declaration portion so all those things all the rules are written like this okay so this actually denotes when the structure occur in your you know, lexeme then that is an identifier so this comes in your declaration portion and in your translation rule if an identifier is encountered then what action that you want to perform when an identifier is checked what all the action that we do we are going to install that id okay if you are going to check for that identifier whether that variable already installed in the symbol table or if it is a new installation we have to uh, allocate a memory portion in the symbol table right so that is done by the function install id install id function so this install id will install the uh, identifier in the symbol table usually this will uh, give an uh, in integer value and that integer value will be returned return id okay so this is called your auxiliary function okay similarly when an uh, keyword is encountered it is going to directly return as if okay for all keywords we are going to directly return it as if when it is an identifier we are going to install it like you are going to check in the symbol table if the entry doesn't exist you are going to so that function is done by this install id function and you are going to return this identifier so this is called your translation rule and finally you have your auxiliary functions here here we have called a function called install id right so the expansion for that should be there so this install id expansion the definition for the function should be returned in this auxiliary function portion so this is how you have to have your lex code so this is the structure of your lex program declaration portion transition rule and auxiliary function in declaration you have to declare all the rules and in the uh, translation rule whenever this kind of uh, pattern occurs what is the action that you want to perform and for this pattern what is the action and install id and uh, the auxiliary function contains the remaining functions uh, that is all used here the expansion for the definition for the functions are given over here so this is how a lex program actually works okay thank you